Tahniah Siaran langsung ini dibawakan khas kepada anda oleh Akademi Youtuber Malaysia Sebuah inisiatif EDD Malaysia dan Kelab Guru Malaysia Tumbukan perhatian anda Siaran langsung akan bermula sebentar lagi Link sijil akan diberikan di hujung siaran ini Pastikan diisi dalam tempoh yang ditetapkan Terima kasih Good evening, hello parents, teachers, and wonderful students, especially my candidates. Welcome to Pusat Tuition Academy YouTuber, initially free, forever free. I hope all of you are ready for today's lesson. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Madam Chia Yiying from College Metclash C. Negris Milan, the moderator of the day. As everyone knows, schools are closed due to CMCO. However, please do not neglect your studies. We at Fusat Tuition Academy YouTuber will still provide you with free online classes. Therefore, take this golden opportunity to do your revision. So, are you ready, guys? I hope you do. I saw many of you have already commented on the chat session. I believe everyone knows every Tuesday at 5 p.m. is MWAT session for Form 6 and matriculation students. So, please set your reminder. Put it in your timetable, all right? Okay, let me introduce our teacher for today's lesson. We have Madam Savina or Madam Vina from SMK Sota Idris Shah II, Greek Perak. She is an excellent English teacher of Guru Chemelan Basa Ingris Muet. And she has 13 years of working experience. We are now live on Madam Vina's channel. Please support her channel, Madam Vina, by clicking subscribe button now. The topic of today's lesson is listening tricks. Please follow the class until the end, yeah? Together with us, we have Madam Aisha Blue, Cikgu Hana, and uh, what are we waiting for? We are going to start, <laughs> but before that, let me give you some reminders, yeah? Number one, please pay attention to our lesson. Stop chatting and use the chat section wisely number two regarding the certificate link the link will be given at the end of the our session please use edd account when you fill in your particulars okay now this is the time Dan -dan -dan! welcome madam vina yeah come on <laughs> okay, thank you, Sister Chia or Madam Chia. Okay, all right. So, uh, how are you, all of you, today? Okay, may the new year bring you happiness, peace, and prosperity. Wishing you a joyous 2021, dear students and teachers and parents. Okay, I'm Madam Vina. I'm here again uh, to conduct my lesson for the second time in our uh, academic YouTuber channel. Okay, here. Yeah. All right. So uh, here with me, you can see uh, Madam Aisha or Madam Blue, uh, Sis Chiar, uh, and Che Guhana. Okay, we are here for you to conduct our lessons every week. Okay, every week on Tuesday at 5 p.m. Okay, please set the reminder and uh, join the lesson every week. Okay, all right. Uh -huh. 
Okay, the focus of the lesson today is uh, I will talk on uh, listening format, uh, listening tricks, uh, sample questions, and also we'll talk on tips that can help you to prepare for your listening uh, exam. All right. Okay. Uh, okay, listening uh, MUET 2020 and MUET 2021. Okay, before that, I want all of you to write your name and your school uh, in the chat session. Okay, at least I know where are you from. Okay, all right. So please write your name and your school in chat session. Okay, and uh, please use the chat section wisely. Okay, dear students. Okay, paper format uh, for MUET 2020. I didn't use current MUET because now the current MUET is 2021. Okay, so the old format, I think you know, and the, we have to give both because our uh, session two students haven't set for their exam yet. Okay, it is around the corner, 30th of January. So I have to give for both uh, old format and also a uh, new format. Okay, all right. Okay, so uh, I think you know the format. Uh, teacher Aisha has already given you all the uh, format uh, in the previous lesson, but uh, I just gone through. Huh? Okay, so the number of tags for old format is five, uh, whereas for format new format seven tags. A uh, number of questions for twenty twenty. 20 questions and for the new format 30 question types uh, for the old format information transfer short answer question and also multiple choice questions and for 2021 uh, three option multiple choice question and also multiple matching you have to match the answers uh, once you have listened and the time for the old format 30 minutes only and for the new format 50 minutes because you have seven parts Okay, and uh, okay, the score you can just uh, read here. Okay, my next slide is okay. The possible categories that we can ask and can see here is lecture, briefing, discussion, interview, uh, telephone, conversation, announcement, advertisement, uh, news, uh, meeting, documentary, and instructions. Huh? And the uh, text type will be dialogue or monologue. Okay, you must know all that to answer the questions. Okay, all right. Uh, let me see who are here. Noor Usnina from SMK Tunsaban Pera. Okay, she's from Greek. Okay, I just look at this name. Okay, who else? Uh, Yogis, Dato Haji, Muhammad Taib Chemo. Okay, okay. Let's, let's look at my next slide. Okay. All right. Okay. Most people do not listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. Same goes to you, my dear students. Okay. You have to listen and understand. Listen carefully and you have to understand the question. Understand the situation, the questions. Huh? Okay. Don't just straight away answer your question. Okay, that's the mistake usually the students uh, do. Okay, please listen carefully and understand first. Okay, then you reply. Reply meaning that you will answer the question. Okay, I will I will give you some techniques. Don't worry. Okay, all right. Listening tricks. Let's look at listening tricks first. Okay, what are the listening tricks? Okay, the first thing is pay attention to link words or connectors. This is very important. Huh? These are some examples of the linking words and also connectors. Because when you read the question, uh, the question, okay, you can understand. But the thing is, when you listen to the audio, they will mention all these words. Okay, they, they have the sequence. Okay, you must understand this. Okay, you really need to pay attention to these uh, linking words or connectors. And this technique is called uh, predicting outcomes. Okay, uh, I mean, uh, you can anticipate what the speaker might say next. Okay, all right. So these are the examples. Now, my next point, firstly, then, lastly, for example, however, on the other hand, therefore, you feel it is, these are the simple words, but it is very important. Okay? Okay, very important. 
All right. So next, pay attention to the speaker's tone of voice. Okay. Uh, it will help you to anticipate what will be said next. Uh, it also shows the speaker what the speaker feels about the point. Okay, based on the tone of the voice. Okay, and also shows the importance of the point. Surprising or entertaining or uh, a broad tone or rise in pitch reveals the speaker's uh, attitude. Huh? And uh, it gives you some clues. Based on the tone, it will give you the clue to answer the question. All right. It is very simple but very important. Okay. All right. So next, uh, read the instructions and questions carefully. Okay. For the old format, you can see here, okay, for the old format, there is a question, not more than three or five words question. So here, you have to read the instructions carefully, uh, paying particular attention to how many words you are allowed to write for the answer. Okay. So uh, if you write more than, uh, for example, uh, not more than three words, huh? if you write more than three words, your answer will be marked incorrect, even if the information or the answer you give is correct. Okay? Five words, just write five words. Three words, just write three words. Two accepted, four accepted. No harm writing two or four. Okay? But don't write more than three more than five. This is for the old format. Huh? It's very important. And the others, a few objective questions. There are uh, if you can see, you can try. I will show you. And for the new format, uh, all are objective. Uh, that is, uh, for the uh, new format, all are objective questions, MCQ questions, and uh, uh, matching, uh, matching questions. So, but this part three, uh, there is a part three, uh, part three use the letters only once. So, here you have to read the question and read the instruction carefully. Okay, uh, all the all the questions are objective, but this part three you have to use the uh, letters only once. Okay, for example, uh, this is the example uh, part three. So you can see it's not your MCQ questions. You will listen and you will pick the letter. Okay, you will pick the letter and write the letter there. Don't write the full sentence, the full phrase. Okay, so that means you have to read the question carefully. Okay. Uh, all are very simple thing, but you will get mark when you lose mark. It's all your in your hand. Okay, all right. And uh, the part is underline the keywords in the questions. Okay, underline the keyword. Keyword is very important. Okay, keyword. When you have the, you will have the opportunity to listen, and they will give you time uh, before answering a question. They will give you time to read the question. Okay, so take advantage of this. Okay, underline the keywords. Okay, uh, in the question as well in MCQ. It's up to you where do you, it's it's your trick, right? So underline all the keywords that you want to uh, focus when you listen. Okay, so for example here. Okay, uh, Alia. Okay, you want to know Alia plant. Okay, to present. Okay, okay, what? Her research, okay, research. So all these words you will look in your audio, okay? In. So this is this is actually for the for the objective questions. You just underline the keywords in your question. No problem. Okay. All right. So uh, this is the example, and also. Okay, the last part, I think, the last trick that uh, I want to explain to you is jot down short notes. Jot down a uh, short notes. Okay, this is very important as well because most of the students, when they listen, they straight away answer the questions because the question is easy or they understand well. I'm not sure, but anyhow, you have to jot down whether the question or the uh, audio is easy, you have to jot down short notes, okay? They will give you time. When you read and they also will provide you a paper, right? Please write, please write. You you have already outlined the keywords. So when you listen carefully, when the audio plays, when you listen carefully, just listen to the particular keywords that you underlined 
and just jot down that parts first because that will be your answer. Okay. All right. So it will help you actually recall the information later, meaning they will give you one minute for you to answer the question, right? So in that one minute, uh, you can, you know, you can look back whatever that you wrote. Okay. And you can, you know, you, you, you know more. Okay. You understand the question well. And jot down only the keywords, yeah. The keywords that you have underlined, huh? okay, and use abbreviation. Okay, you may say, okay, uh, I need some time. Yeah, but you can use the abbreviations or I think maps to help you to write quickly when jotting down the ideas. Uh, and when writing answers, write in full. Okay, don't use the abbreviation. Abbreviation, uh, these are the examples. Okay, for example, not, increase, decrease. So please try to use this abbreviation. Just use this. No problem. But when you write, please write in full. Okay? All right. To get marks. All right. And also, uh, these are the, uh, I think, map that you can use. But the thing is, uh, why am I showing this? Because it's your it's your way. How are you going to do? Okay? All right. But use the mind map to jot down. Don't write everything. Just use the mind map. Then when you write, write in full, uh, including your grammar. And also your tenses. Okay, now let's start with our listening questions. Okay, before that, are you okay with the explanation, the tricks that I gave you? Are you okay with that? Say yes in the second session. Okay. Once you say yes, then I move on to the question. Yes, students. Okay, let me. Okay, let's start with 2020, part one. Okay, you have three parts, right? Okay, I'm going to focus on part one first. Okay, I'm going to focus on part one. And part two and part three, I have already done with the Google form later. Uh, Sis Chia will upload. So after the lesson, you can do your part one, uh, part two and part three. I did that. Uh, I also included part one as well in the Google form. Huh? So you can try again later. And now um, uh, for, uh, for today, I will just use part one first. Okay. All right. So let's. Uh, and uh, this is for the old format, but lower six students uh, for the 2021 test takers, you can still try. Okay, no harm trying. Okay, all right. This is a listening uh, text or question, so no harm of trying. So you can try with your friends. Okay, and even seven and eight is your objective question. Uh, uh, there are two objective questions here because uh, lower lower six all are objective questions. Hmm? Okay, no written questions. Okay, so first of all, let's try to underline the words. Okay, does mites? Okay, does mites? Tiny creatures. Okay, trigger. Underline the keywords. Okay, maybe you can underline any other words. No problem. Okay, I, I just underline, I just help you out here. Can survive everywhere, especially very important. Okay, feed mainly humans and pets. Okay, next. Uh, you will look at this word. Common allergy symptoms, definitely they will mention this. And okay, sequence huh? number four, five, and six. You have to listen carefully and fill in. And you can see here for these three questions, not more than three words. Read the instruction carefully, three words only. Whereas for question four to six, not more than five words. Okay. All right. And for question number seven, effect of medicines. Allergies, okay, except 
Okay, prevented, can be prevented, can be prevented. All right, okay. Are you okay? Let's look at the audio now. Mm. Okay. Answer question one. Part one. Listen to a talk about dust mites. Based on the talk, answer questions one to eight. Are you suffering from some form of allergy or asthma? Then there is a big possibility that a tiny creature is lurking in your home, causing you misery. This tiny creature is called dust mites. Dust mites may be the most common trigger of allergies and asthma. Dust mites are survivors. They survive in every continent except the Antarctica. In warm and humid countries like Singapore and Malaysia, they can be found by the millions. Why do you think this is so? It's because they try best at 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. They reproduce by laying eggs and each female will lay between 50 to 80 eggs every month. They are very tiny creatures, about one quarter of a millimeter in size. So you cannot see them with your naked eye. Under a microscope, they look like white bugs. But wait, these white bugs have eight legs. So they are not insects, but they are arthropods like spiders. Where can we find dust mites? They can be found in carpets, bedding, pillows, sofas, curtains, and even stuffed toys. They feed mainly on the dead skin dropped off from humans and pets. On average, an adult person may produce up to 1.5 gram of dead skin per day. That is enough to feed 1 million dust mites. And these dust mites they don't actually bite. It is their body parts and droppings that cause irritation on your skin and nasal passages. Each mite can produce about 20 droppings a day. And each dropping is 10 times smaller than a strand of human hair. Although tiny, in large numbers, the droppings can cause a lot of allergic reactions and itching. The National University Hospital of Singapore reported that 9 out of 10 people are allergic to dust mite droppings. Common allergy symptoms include sneezing, runny nose, watery eyes, coughing, an itchy nose, mouth and throat. Even worse, dust mite allergies can cause asthmatic attacks. Asthmatic attacks include difficulty in breathing, chest pain, wheezing cough and having trouble sleeping. Certain medicines may help reduce allergy symptoms caused by dust mites. These medicines come in the form of pills, liquid, no sprays or no straws. Some may be purchased at pharmacies without any prescription. But you must always check with your doctors first before using these medicines because some can cause side effects like sleeplessness and increased blood pressure. Dust mites can be avoided by limiting your exposure to them. It is nearly impossible to completely get rid of them in your environment, but you can use dust-proof covers for your mattresses and pillows. You should wash bed sheets, blankets and rugs in hot water. You can also use special vacuum cleaners to get rid of mites and mite droppings. Finally, you should avoid having wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. You are now given one minute to answer questions one to eight. Okay. You are given one minute, right? So did you write, did you jot down all the uh, keywords that I have underlined just now? Okay. It's very important. Huh? Okay. Whatever that I underlined, I think you should have heard just now. Okay. All right. So please jot down. So now in this one minute, Whatever that you jotted down, so you can, you know, you can fill in the answers here now. 
okay so i forgot to tell you i will choose uh, the students huh? later the students you can answer uh, one to eight question number one to eight okay all right um now you just listen and answer all the questions later after completing the task then you can uh, we can discuss okay i will uh, call the uh, students huh? you can you can you know you can give your answers okay all right you will listen to the talk again check your answers are you suffering from some form of allergy or asthma then there is a big possibility that the tiny creature is lurking in your home causing you misery this tiny creature is called dust mites dust mites may be the most common trigger of allergies and asthma dust mites are survivors they survive in every continent except the antarctica in warm and humid countries like Singapore and Malaysia, they can be found by the billions. Why do you think this is so? It's because they thrive best at 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. They reproduce by laying eggs, and each female will lay between 15 to 80 eggs every month. They are very tiny creatures, about one quarter of a millimeter in size. So you cannot see them under a microscope. They look like white bugs. But wait, these white bugs have eight legs. So they are not insects, but they are arthropods like spiders. Where can we find dust mites? They can be found in carpets, beddings, pillows, sofas, curtains, and even stuffed toys. They feed mainly on the dead being dropped off from humans and pets. On average, an adult person may produce up to 1.5 gram of dead skin per day. That is enough to feed 1 million dust mites. And these dust mites don't actually bite. It is their body parts and droppings that cause the irritation on your skin and nasal passages. Each mite can produce about 20 droppings a day, and each dropping is 10 times smaller than a strand of human hair. Although tiny, in large numbers, the droppings can cause a lot of allergic reactions and itching. The National University Hospital of Singapore reported that 9 out of 10 people are allergic to dust mite droppings. Common allergy symptoms include sneezing, rust nose, eyes, coughing, and itchy nose, mouth, and throat. Even worse, dust mite allergies can cause asthmatic attacks. Asthmatic attacks include difficulty in breathing, chest pain, wheezing cough, and having trouble sleeping. Certain medicines may help reduce allergy symptoms caused by dust mite. Medicines come in the form of pills, no sprays or no drugs. Some may be purchased at pharmacies without any prescription. But you must always check your doctors first before using these medicines because some can cause side effects like sleep and increased blood pressure. Dust mites can be avoided by limiting your exposure to them. It is nearly impossible to completely get rid of them in your environment. But you can use dustproof covers for your mattresses and pillows. You should wash bed sheets, blankets, and rugs weekly with hot water. You can also use special vacuum cleaners to get rid of mites and mite droppings. Finally, you should avoid having wall to wall carpeting. Okay. All right. The test hands. Okay, anyone? Uh, excuse me, Madam okay. Dina. Uh huh. Can we go for the, the advertisement break? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Tuition online percuma. Tuition online percuma. Layari www.academyyoutuber bagi mengikuti 
tuition online secara percuma. Prasekolah, sekolah rendah, sekolah menengah. Semua ada di Akademi Youtuber. Rujuk jadual di laman sesawang www.academyyoutuber.com Semoga masa terluang anak-anak anda diisi dengan sebaiknya. Tuition online percuma, mestilah Akademi Youtuber. Ya, yeah, Madam Vina, the floor is yours. Okay, so anyone? Yeah, Madam Vina, you can begin. Continue, resume. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyone? Do you want to answer the questions? You can type here in chat session, no problem. Okay, you can type here and anyone if you want, if you wish to answer all the questions, please uh, join us in our country. I think uh, you can Perhaps paste you can the type on the chat box there. Yeah, uh -huh, wow. no problem. Yeah. We can we can look for the question uh, number one. Uh, uh, Saravanan Patrick answer. Saravanan say allergies and asthma. Okay. Allergies right. and asthma. Yes. I couldn't see the answer. Becca also mentioned. Uh, yeah. Two. Okay. Uh, All right. Okay. I can see. Two subscribers okay. or we will mention the correct answer. Yeah. All right. So who who are they? Uh, Saravanan Patrick. Okay. Allergy and asthma. Very good. Hi, Saravanan. Okay. All right. So Rebecca Arumugam. Allergies and asthma. Okay. Very good. Okay. Allergy. Uh, okay. So two of them, I think they answered correctly, right? Quite okay. What about of them answer correctly, Madam Vina? Okay, very good, very good. I can see here now. Okay, very good. Okay, I can see it. Gautari. Yeah. Miss Simon also. Okay. All right. Uh, number two. Okay. Uh, Madam Mina, shall we continue to uh, question number two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Question number two. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, Lee Simon, allergies and asthma. Very good. And the... Uh, a uh, spelling, uh, uh, the spelling is correct. Okay, very good. Okay. Number two, answer question. Number two, what is the answer? Number two, if I see here, then I can move on to number three. Okay, number two, any answer? All right. Uh, okay. Is that correct? Singapore any other answer? <laughs> Can survive almost Which is not for location. Yes. Can, can can survive almost everywhere, especially in Malaysia and Singapore countries. Malaysia and Singapore countries. When you read the answer, the, the, actually the sentence is wrong, right? If you if you mention Singapore and Malaysia, I don't think the countries will be there. In Singapore and Malaysia only, I think. So what is the answer? No. This one I, focused on the weather, yeah? Not, yes. not the location. Not yes. the location. Not the location, the weather. Okay. We, we gave you the clue. Mm -hmm. We gave you the clue. Yeah. <laughs> we go and toys. Oh, someone answer questions <laughs> number. No. Okay, never mind. Later, later ah, we can. Yeah. This one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pegasus. Yes, yes. Pegasus. Pegasus. You mean you mean warm? Yeah. Oh, uh, she's asking Correct. the question. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> she's asking whether correct or not. Yeah, it's true. You okay. say warm. Good. It's correct. Yeah. Rebecca. Good. Rebecca also mentioned correctly. Yeah. This ah. Simon also. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Shall we continue? Yes, number three. Can we continue. Yeah, dinner rose All right. Mm. Very good. Number three. Number three. I think uh, question number three is easy. 
Number three. Come on, number three. Come on, number three. Okay, number three, number three. Okay, number four. Okay, you just write there. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Never mind. Number three, dead skin. Okay, very good. Rebecca Armugam. Rebecca Armugam. Dead skin. Okay, very good. Ainato, very good. Noor Amira. Okay. We have uh, Noor Amira. Okay. Number four, five, and six. You see, he also mentioned correctly. Yeah, many of them. Handsome chai. Sorry, I can get Focusing the answers. Focusing on the symptoms. Number three. Focusing on the symptoms. Ah. Uh, okay. All right. Common allergy symptoms. I think it's very easy. It was very clear. The answers are very clear. Okay. What are the answers? Number four, five, and six. Can you write here? At least we can check your spelling error. Runny nose, what free eyes, coughing, rebecca, arumogam. Very good. Very good. Very good. Runny nose. Yes. Yeah, so Amira, why runny nose? Very good. Yeah. Very good. And running nose is wrong, huh? Runny nose. Okay. Cough. Okay. Cough. Okay, very good. What about question number seven A? Objective. Objective questions. Cough is correct also. Cough can be yeah. accepted. Yes. Mm -hmm. Seven. Number seven and eight. The objective, the following are the uh, effects of medicines to treat allergies. Not huh? accept. Okay. Actually, yeah, for objective part, you can hear all the three options. But please listen carefully, okay? Understand the keyword and the questions, you know? I heard all three. But what is except here? Huh? What is the answer? Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. C, C, B, C, B. Number seven, my dear. Number seven. I no not C number seven except except number seven ah uh, okay okay I, I I got it Ong Shan Mei number seven A yeah chest pain they didn't they mentioned but the thing is for the effects of medicines only these two are uh, okay having trouble sleeping okay and uh, increased blood pressure. All right, so number eight is correct. A, okay, number eight is correct. Very good. Okay, very good. So let me show the answers. Aha, uh -huh. okay, these are the answers. You can check later, no problem. And uh, uh, Sister, you can provide the link, the Google form link to them. So you can. Uh, uh, what is that? You can uh, do this exercise once again, including part two and part three. I attach with part two and part three, and also I attach the audio as well in the Google form. Okay, it's your bonus activity that uh, that I'm giving you. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Let's move on to uh Muet 2021. Okay, Muay 2021, also part one. Okay, also part one. Uh, and uh, you have seven questions. You have seven questions. So I will show you this page first. Okay, this page first. So listen carefully. I'm going to on the audio. So listen carefully. And I think before that, we can try underlining the keywords. Why? Why? Lily, go to Kuala Pelangi. How? Okay, Lily and her friends travel. Okay. To hotel. Okay, different from other hotel. Okay, awkward. Okay, what the other keywords here? Number four, Lily and the friends are best about the hotel restaurant. Best, okay. What? 
did they do after lunch? After lunch is very important. What surprised? So here you have to look at the tone, tone of the speaker. Surprise them about the map. And which map shows the correct position? Uh, position of the three food stalls. Okay, so here the linkers, the connectors is very important. Linking words, huh? It's important. Listen carefully. Okay, let me start with the audio. Okay. Conversation between Lily and her friend Part One. Listen to a conversation between Lily and her friend Ryan. As you listen, choose the correct answer for questions one to seven. You now have 30 seconds to look at the questions. Long queue 
that was Raja Chips. So we joined the crowd and ate there. It was mine. But if I have another chance, I'd like to try Ben's fried rice. The aroma of the fried rice was really nice. That was the stall furthest away from our hotel, but it wasn't that far to walk. The stall nearest to our hotel was called Sam's Noodles. The food there looked very good too, but that wasn't a crowd. It sounds as if you had a great time. Now you will listen to the recording again. Hi Lily, I heard you went on a holiday. Did you have a good time? It wasn't actually a holiday, but I did have a good time. I went to Kuala Palangi for a weekend with some of the other students in my geography class. The trip was part of our course. We had to write about it afterwards. We had to describe what tourists can do there. Shopping, eating, doing water sports and other activities. It was hard work, but we had a lot of fun. I've never heard of Kuala Palangi. How did you get there? Well, you know my mum loves travelling. Last year, she drove there with some friends. My friend and I didn't want to drive that far, so in the end we decided to go by air. It wasn't too expensive actually. At first we thought of going by bus, but we decided it would take too long. Right, and where did you stay? In a hotel. We searched online and we chose a new hotel called the Palagi Beach. They had enough rooms for all of us and it wasn't too expensive. And they even included lunch on the first day free of charge. Quite a lot of hotels offer you a free drink when you arrive. But I've never been offered a meal before. No, neither have I. And the hotel's right by the sea. Anyway. We had a very good lunch and the staff were great, very friendly. But the best thing was the view. The restaurants right by the beach. We really enjoyed sitting and relaxing there after the journey. It sounds wonderful. So what did you do after lunch? We went to the hotel reception and got a brochure with details of things to do and places to see. Then we went to the tourist information center and picked up more stuff maps and so on, though we had already downloaded and printed them out before we left home. Then we decided how we'd spend the rest of our time, because we only had two days and we had a lot of places to see and photographs to take. What did you like best when you were there? We loved the Central Market. You really must go there one day. They've got an absolutely huge choice of hand-painted batik which I was really looking forward to seeing. I got a piece for my mum as a surprise birthday present. She loves Bati, and this is bright pink, which is her favourite colour. And although a lot of the stuff, the Bati and so on, are obviously for tourists, they were a lot cheaper than we had expected. We spent hours there. The market itself isn't very big, but there's such a lot to see. And we all bought souvenirs and presents. By the time we finished, we were not only hungry, but also broke. So, where did you eat in the evening? Well, we couldn't decide at first. There were three stalls overlooking the sea, just beside our hotel, the Plangi Beach. The one in the middle caught our eyes, as it had a really long queue. That was Raja Chips. So we joined the crowd and ate there. It was mine. But if I have another chance, I'd like to try Ben's fried rice. The aroma of the fried rice was really nice. That was the stall furthest away from our hotel, but it wasn't that far to walk. The stall nearest to our hotel was called Sam's Noodles. The food there looked very good too, but that wasn't a crowd. It sounds as if you had a great time. That is the end of part one. Now turn to part two. Okay. All right. So you have finished your part one. Okay. What are the answers? Okay. What are the answers? Can I see? You can write here. 
Okay, it's already uh, 5.50, so you can just write here. Okay, what are the answers for number one? Until seven. Okay, there are seven questions. Okay, just okay, write your answer. answers. Can I see? You can write here. Okay, please. Uh, number one, C. Okay, very good. Number one, Anushri Sudagar, Rakesh Kumar. Okay, very good. What about number two? Number two. Please write the answer. Okay, what about the number two? Number two? Number two? Okay, number two is C. Number two is wrong. Number two. Okay, number two, number two. I couldn't see the answer. Okay, number two, Vijay Jagannathan. Okay, number two is A. Okay, very good. What about number three? What about number three? Number three is B. Okay, very good. Vijayal Jagannathan once again. Number three is B. Okay. Handsome Chai. Number one is C. Number two is C. Okay, number two is wrong. Number three is correct. Number four is correct. Number five is correct. Number six is wrong. Number seven is wrong. Handsome Chai. Okay. Okay, I can see all the answers. Okay, number one. Uh, okay, the answers are actually Lily. Uh, she has a full expression. She spoke with a full expression. Uh, we can see the tone of voice here. Okay, all right. Okay, the answers are okay. Number one, C. Number two, A. Number three, B. Number four, B. Number five, A. 6C and 7B. You can you can listen again, huh? Okay, you can go to my channel and you can listen to the uh, audio once again and you can try answering again. No problem. Okay, it is very easy. Okay, are you clear with the questions? Okay, dear students, are you clear now? Uh, for old format and also for the new format. Okay, new format, all are objective questions. Okay, all right. Okay, so, all right, the next part or the last part is tips that can help you to prepare for your listening, okay? So, my tips here, here uh, attempt all questions, okay? Please attempt, please write, okay? There are no any penalties, huh? so you can attempt all the question and please answer all the question. Don't leave out any question, huh? and be careful when you transfer your answer. Okay, so be careful when you transfer your answers and answers usually appear in the order. Okay, number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You heard just now, right? It is in the order. So don't worry. Just listen carefully and answer. And listen to English every day and also listen to range of things. Range of things means uh, you have to listen to radio broadcasts, uh, YouTube uh, songs, uh, Okay. Uh, listen to a range of things. If you listen, you can answer. Okay. And uh, have a strategy. Okay. It is very important. Although you have a very good language, you can understand clearly, you know the answer, but you must have a strategy. Jot down the notes when you uh, listen, underline the keywords that are the strategies. Okay. All right. And uh, you must have your concentration during your exam okay concentration is very important okay concentrate on your uh question listen listen carefully okay all right so here i wish to show you the winners for the last lot uh chua from malika and also uh jacqueline from sarawak okay they received my gift and today don't worry i will choose i saw a few students i will choose personally 
okay i will choose personally and uh, i will try to get back to them okay all right okay and our next slot is from madam chia who is our moderator today uh, okay she will be focusing on writing next week okay and that's all from me and thank you for listening if you have any question just find me at uh, this telegram okay any question just uh, you can ask me no problem and please subscribe my channel this is my channel okay i'm live on live in my channel so you can subscribe now did you subscribe my channel say yes or no okay <laughs> Yes, students. <laughs> so you can subscribe now to get more videos. Okay, all of us, uh, Madam uh, Chia, uh, Chigu Hana, and uh, Chigu Aisha, Madam uh, Blue. We have many videos, so you can watch our videos. And thank you for academic YouTuber as well. And please, sir, uh, dear students, please be with us. Set your reminder every Tuesday, at five p.m. Okay. All right, so the new year stands before us now, okay, like a chapter in a book. So waiting to be written only. It okay, just rock this year, uh, 2021. Dear students, thank you so much. Okay, with God grace, we are done with the, today's lesson. We learned a lot from uh, Madam Vina about the listening tricks. So we need to recap, number one, is to observe the linkers used to observe the linkers in the recording number two to identify the speaker's tone and then you will get the answer number three observe the tenses used if you are answering the wet old format and uh, three words or five words lastly the boxes given you need to write the correct letter you shouldn't copy those answers. Once you have mistakes, you won't get marks. The examiner won't give you marks, yeah? Better for you to write the correct letter in the box. All right. So thank you very much, uh, Madam Vina, for the interesting lesson and the tricks. Uh, before uh this um, i already provided you the link certificate link the e date link i would want to uh, remind all of you to fill in the link e using e date account and the link will be only active in 30 minutes please click and fill in the form with correct spelling yeah okay only e date uh, accounts yeah right for those who ha do not have EDD account what you can do is you refer to the advertisement and register uh, and obtain the EDD junior uh, tele uh, what they call that the email All right so uh, please do so and if you wish to get more information please go to www.academyyoutuber.com Okay, once again, I would like to thank Mad uh, Madam Vina for the lesson. And dear students, please support Madam Vina's channel by clicking the subscribe button now. Do it now, yeah? Okay, I think that's all for now. We have another class later this evening. So I will see you Another session. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, yeah, everybody stay healthy, stay safe. Bye bye. Semua sekolah ditutup hingga cuti akhir tahun 17 Disember 2020. Anda tak cukup bahan? Tak ada rujukan? Tak faham? Anda nak tuition tapi PKP? Jangan risau kami di Akademi Youtuber dengan kerjasama Kelab Guru Malaysia dan EDD Malaysia mengadakan kelas tuition online. Semua peringkat ada. Semuanya secara percuma. Video PDPC pun ada. 
apa ditunggu lagi? Layari www.academyyoutuber.com Kita bawakan kepada anda oleh Academy Youtuber.